Ó, Simpo, vambora, evento novo. Vamos pra Funtai, né? Só achei estranho o Funtai ser no deserto, eu achei que era muito longe no... Tem isso aqui, mas pra desbloquear eu tenho que pegar uma estátua lá de Funtai. E tem ela aqui, né? Vamos pegar ela, Free. Não, não vou ver o personagem. Tem como a gente testar os personagens. Mas isso aqui eu vou deixar pro final aí, né? Depois eu vejo. Tem esse novo boss aí, né? O mar terrestre. A origem de todas as águas. Esse aqui é a Fontaine, não é? Vamos ver aí como vai ser, né? Porque aqui no mapa, a Fontaine tá nessa direção aqui. Pô, achei que... Ó, deu uma... Um up aí, hein? Quando eu vim soltar até aqui, só. Esperei mais, ó. A gente vai pegar o um barco aqui, provavelmente. Vamos lá falar com... Nem sei com quem a gente vai falar, velho. Vamos lá ver qual é. A missão tá aqui, ó. E aí? Prologo do Solista. Prologo, né? Pelúdio do Ovário Branco e da Maré Escura. Boa memória, Paimon. Acho que podemos ter acabado aqui em algum momento antes. So much time has already passed since then, and it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida is in charge, right? Paimon just hopes this peace will last a long time, and then Nahida won't have any more new problems to deal with. Sim, contando que esteja, estejamos por perto, fica difícil dizer o que vai acontecer. Eu estava pensando que talvez a Paimon possa ser o problema. A próxima parada, Fontaine, muito bem, vamos continuar nossa jornada. Ah, look who it is. Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Oh, it's Dia! Hmm. Since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious business. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. But never mind that. What brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. That's when I saw you two all the way over there, chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? É, nós estamos nos preparando para sair de Sumeru. Vamos para Fontaine. Hum. Huh? You serious? Can't say I saw that coming. Hmm, but you are travelers after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? Thanks, but no need. Oh, Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. So, uh, when are you leaving? Assim que terminarmos nossas preparações, a jornada deveria ser espontânea. Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where is that list Paimon made? Hmm. 
Chase away. I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> by the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? Bem, se tratando dela, mesmo que não falamos nada, ela vai saber pelos sonhos. Then I guess this is goodbye for now, traveler in Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Até a próxima, tchau dia. Goodbye, dia. Bye bye, Sumeru. Tchau, tchau, Sumeru. Após lidar com os assuntos de Sumeru, vocês chegam perto da fronteira de Fontaine. Nia, como é? É bem diferente do que eu tava esperando. E assim iniciamos nossa jornada, né? Tirar foto. É só descer agora, né? Pegar aquele barco ali embaixo. Ué, vamos ver aí como vai ser, hein? Não dá pra entrar só pegando aquele elevador, né? Descer logo de uma vez. Opa. Nem sei porque eu peguei isso aqui, velho. A gente vai ter que pegar o barco ali. Acho que não tem outro caminho de chegar lá, não. Será que dá pra chegar perto desses barcos aí, velho? Eu já não sei. Pega. Cadê o barco? Opa. Tamo indo, hein? Olha a bandeira de Fontaine. E já vou lá pegar. Já saio daqui, ó. Rui. E dá pra subir aí, né? Ó, é diferente. É nos mar mesmo, né? Aproveitar. Depois a gente vai explorar isso aqui, né? Então, aqui é a nossa chegada. É mais ou menos o que eu vi antes também. É muito diferente do que mais deles. Está me deixando com uma impressão difer bem diferente. Essa viagem é para encontrar minha irmã eu também para, e também para descobrir a verdade, né? Bora! Não sei porque eu tô com sono, cara. Se você me me, é uma tragédia como as coisas terminaram para ele. Claramente, ele era uma pessoa bem decente. Sim, eu não esperava esse tipo de final para ele. Eu pensava que ele poderia pelo menos lutar um pouco mais longo para a sua família. Eu esperava um plot twist de um sudden, mas é uma pena que isso nunca aconteceu. 
Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you too? I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. Uh, hi. <laughs> We're travelers new to Fontaine. And we had something we wanted to ask, but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> A uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. Really? Like, a real trial? But the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. Whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. Então eles viam julgamentos como um tipo de ópera. Treated a little more seriously than that? Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things. It's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Neuvillette. As well New as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, a machine created by the Archon. Between the machine and the Chief Justice, false charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. Um dispositivo de julgamento criado pelo Archon, então, é, então essa é a nação da justiça. The Oratrice? Is it some kind of machine too? Oh, Vaimon's curious. We should check it out if we get the chance. Espero que a gente não seja julgado nela, né? I almost forgot to ask you a question. Um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. Lady Farina practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Huh. I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. Marcar um horário, tempo disponível? Huh. Is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait, didn't you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. Huh. First time Paimon's ever heard of an Archon being described that way before. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets it now! The Hydro Archon is kind of like a big celebrity here, right? Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Neuvelette. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here, but nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. Parece que as pessoas de Fontaine gostam mesmo da Contidro, mas eles não parecem reverenciá-la. Alright, I think we get it. Thank you. At least we now know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. But who knows how long making an appointment will take? <sighs> I guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. Hey, what are you looking over there for? Tem uma garota ali, ela está parada sozinha há um bom tempo. Huh, maybe something's the matter. <gasps> she isn't going to jump into the water, is she? Uh, maybe we better go 
Vamos, né? Vamos. Tá alto o som, velho? Não sei. Vamos falar com a jovem perto da água. E direta. Acho que ela não quer amigos não, hein, pai. Many things actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. See? Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? Talvez ela seja uma sereia ou uma criatura aquática especial de Fontaine. No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. And no, I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now it's been completely submerged. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. It won't be long before it swallows us. Uh, sorry, Paimon doesn't really get what you mean. Ah, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Are you Lynette's new friends? Oh, and you are? Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the traveler. We just arrived in Fontaine. We were just talking with your sister. Uh... Even though we didn't really get what she was saying. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. É, com você do meu lado, eu nem tenho o que falar, Paimon. Porque você rouba as palavras da minha boca. Also think my brother can be too talkative at times. Oh. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. <laughs> so, what did Lynette mean just now when she said that the water is engulfing your memories, and that it won't be long before it engulfs you too? Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word, because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. O que está acontecendo? Where to begin? Pelo começo, né? Eu te falo, por onde eu posso começar? Pelo começo, né? Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? Mas você acabou de falar seu nome. Did all the introductions earlier not count? É, ué. Hello, traveler. Olá, é Linney. Linney. Como eu falo o nome dele? É um prazer conhecer você. É mais fácil. Como eu chamo o nome dele? É Linney Linney. And hello, Paimon. Hey! Why didn't Paimon get a handshake? You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Oh, all right then. Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the Opera House to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? Oh, so you're going to see Lady Farina? No 
problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the Opera House later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please follow me. Sigo, sigo. Já foram direto, é? Ó, oh, tamo na jornada, hein? Vamos estar isso aqui no próximo. Isso aqui tá... É interessante por enquanto, né?